Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. And we'll look at one of our favorite topics from ladies from 40 and past the danger zone to 60. Uh, and all I can say is that it is another bunch of list of requirements and the kind of men they think they're going to land at this age. It's so unrealistic. Let's get into it. Hi, y'all. I thought I'd jump on here and tell you another funny dating story. So I was married for 20 years and I got divorced in 2020. So I waited a whole year, got my shit together, bought my house, you know, just did the grown up thing, adulting. So I decided to. Well, that didn't include the gym though, ma'am. See, par ladies, take a step back. Part of getting your shit together, and well, first of all, having a house and car and job and, to, and, and as an adult is just normal adult things. But part of having your shit together is being fit, ma'am. Getting to the gym, getting your life in order. And they just don't see it this way. They think having a car, job, and house is some sort of accomplishment. Ma'am, you're in your damn 40s or 50s, whatever you are. She continues. Start dating. My girlfriend kind of talked me into it. So I was like, okay, you know, what the hell? I'll try this shit. You know, worked for me the first time. So um, I met a guy. Super nice on the phone, had really good, you know, back and forth. It was amazing. And then, you know, he asked me out. I was like, okay, I'll go out with you. So I asked him how tall he is, you know, not thinking, you know, anything. I just didn't know what shoes to wear because I'm, I'm five, four. So he goes, I'm five, nine. Women can change their weight. Men can get fit too. Obviously both genders can get fit. We can't change our height. So asking about it, if you, you know, don't, if it's that's a, that big of a deal still in your fifties, you think you get it when they're younger, they want the tallest guy, the guy that they can bag, the guy can show off to people. It's a turn on for them, but they still worry about this in their fifties and sixties and seventies. She continues. I'm like, okay, I can wear heels kind of, you know, like maybe two inch. So you see the man shame. She's already man shaming. He should have asked your weight, ma'am, because you're this. That's a huge bitch. She continues. So I show up, homeboy <laughs> was so short. I felt like Amazon woman next to him. So we sit down for dinner and I'm like, oh God, this, this is horrible. This is really horrible. My God. And she says men are narcissists. Men are superficial. You ladies are worse than men. I'm gonna say it right now. Let's say it one more time for the people in back. Ladies are more into looks even than men. It was just terrible. She gave this man no chance because he wasn't tall enough. She continues. Um, he starts talking and he has no teeth, no teeth. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, this cannot be happening. This cannot be happening to me. I just wanted to fucking die my first date after, you know, Ma'am, will you take some responsibility here? You know that there's this thing called pictures, right? Did you get a picture of this man? He had no t I, I, I'm not even sure I believe this. She continues. 21 year marriage and I was just like, holy shit. I made it through dinner. All he did was talk about his ex-wife and I'm like, dude, oh my God. And then he knew I didn't want him. So then he gets on the dating app and he starts showing me all these women that want him. And I'm like, I think you should call them. I think you might have better luck with them than me. You know, I, I just not feeling this, you know, I'm so sorry. I didn't know what to say. Now, if she isn't capping about this entire story, gentlemen, I will say this. Don't get on dates and talk about your ex exes at all. Really, it's an interesting story that kind of relates to something that you're talking about is one thing, but if you're just talking about your ex the whole time and you're not over that situation, for of course for ladies too, but absolutely do not do that. It's just bad dating etiquette and you're clearly not over that previous situation. But I'd say this, ma'am, go back to your husband then. And I just can't believe you put this on TikTok. And all, I'm sure she's embellishing the story. She continues. Hey to him, I couldn't say that. That's so mean. So we walk outside. But wait, it's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just put the whole thing on TikTok. That's less mean than just telling the guy. It's like, 
And I'm like, you know, thank you for dinner. You know, I, I mean, I did have a nice time. He was a really nice guy, just not my guy. Here we go again. Yep. He wasn't hot enough, though. So he was a nice guy. I thought he talked about his ex the whole time. And I don't watch these videos ahead of time just to watch with you guys. Here, here it is. Yeah. The guy didn't give her enough tingles, wasn't hot enough. And this is a microcosm of what you ladies do throughout your life. If the guy isn't hot and rich and interesting and not someone you can bring around your friends, look who I bagged. He's never good enough. He's, he was too short. Ma'am, you are going to absolutely have this happen to you. That's why you will die alone. Die alone. We continue. So on dating delusions, we always start with a great profile. This is the great profile of the day. And she's 48. Now look at, the, I want you to check how the contrast between that lady who they were about the same age and how young this lady looks, literally being around the same age because she's watched her diet. She does do her exercise. Now I'm going to caveat this as I always have to, gentlemen, on my show, I like to show a wide variety of women to you, gentlemen, you can pick. We cannot assume every single woman who's past 30 and doesn't have a man is some sort of damaged goods. I, I just will not go down that rabbit hole with you. And as well, it's wonderful. If you're in your 50s, 60s, 70s, you can only date women you know, under 25. That's fantastic. That's not the average man though. I promise you that. Most men, if they're in their 60s and 70s, can't bag women in their 30s and 20s. So a 48 year woman like this is an absolute catch for a man certainly in his 60s or early 70s. And even this lady's attractive enough that even a guy in his 50s would certainly be interested in her. So I will, I'll say that. And, and you know, if you if you look, I'm happy for you. If you can only date women in your 20s, that's fantastic. But that's why I show a wide variety of women. And of course, if the show relates to women in this age group, I will show these. All right, just another caveat because the, the comments I get sometimes. All right, so she's 48. She says, you attract what you are, not what you want. Ma'am, that's a great sentiment, exactly. You can't just list all your crap on here and expect just the person of my dreams to show up and we're gonna see a bunch of those profiles as usual today. She has wonderful pictures, she's smiling. Someone commented in yesterday's video actually and said he didn't like the pictures because they seem staged. I would rather have staged good pictures than a bunch of selfies that look like crap. So no, that's fantastic. These are great pictures. She had someone take a picture. She obviously has some friends. She continues. This woman looks 20 years younger than, ma'am. Good. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Her hair's done. She dyes her hair. Ladies, you can learn from this. She stays in shape. She works out. She seems sweet. She continues. I mean, she's got a great body still. Men absolutely would see her across the room and want to give her a relationship. They would, you know, I'm sh now she obviously have guys who want to swipe on her bedroom fun, but she has men who'd want to date her. And this is all based on what she's kept, what she's done with herself and her personal responsibility about her own body. She looks great in bikini, she continues. You know, I don't know what situation, this looks like some sort of boat and it looks like she had someone there take her on a trip or whatever it is. Now, if she's with a guy here, it's kind of, you know, bad juju, but she could be out with friends or her girlfriend thinks she clearly has a lot of friends and has people who want to take pictures of her. She's done a great job. Ma'am, you get a round of applause. And see, that first lady proves how into looks women really are. And they act like, no, it's just about the personnel. I know it's not. That guy was a perfectly acceptable guy. She know he was shorter than her. But see, she even said, I had a good time. He was nice. She, she took the free meal as well and still went out with that that dude. But, um, and of course, this great profile. What a gorgeous lady. But of course, that profile's rare. Let's go the nonsense. So she's 51 and you can see her up there. That's a red flag right there, Bev. That's a red flag right there, bro. Oh, bad tattoo says about me. Good vibes only. Outgoing, quick witted, love to laugh and travel. Oh. <laughs> Ladies, once again, if this is your first episode. Welcome to the channel. Travel is not a hobby. A hobby is like gardening or cooking, something you can do all the time. Traveling is just vacationing. It just tells us you want to spend our money and have a man take you traveling. You guys put this in here all the damn time. You're goddamn right. She continues. Love live music and explore new places and new things to do. Sure, you want excitement and got it, ma'am. I want happiness, love, 
laughter, and adventure. Oh, good for you. You all want adventure, ma'am. You all want adventurous, exciting, tall, sexy guys. Yeah, I got it. Not interested in marrying a separated man. Not interested in one night stand or being your fuck buddy. Ma'am, ma'am, that's for you. No one makes you be their fuck buddy, ma'am. No one makes you have one night stands. And you ladies are smart enough, you know if a guy, when a guy's wanting that, if he's just talking about bedroom fun all the time and just trying to take you to bed and you choose to go home with a, with Chad, that's on you if you're highly attracted to the guy. So just because you do that and then later on go, I, oh, I had no responsibility, I didn't know he, yeah. You knew that what he wanted. I mean, ladies aren't dumb. She continues looking for my best. Fred. Bruh. And you're 51. Are you really going to find your best friend at this stage of life? It's so unrealistic. Now, she says all this stuff about happiness and love and laughter and not interested in married or separated men. But then this was her next picture. So she's saying she wants a relationship, but this is her pair. Her tongue stuck out, clearly drunk, with her princess hat on, with this, and with good old, her her former F buddy. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. See, ladies, men look at your actions, not just your words. You can say all you want about romance and soulmate and all this crap, and then you have a picture with your ex or whoever this dude is, gotten drunk one night, and you thought this was perfectly acceptable. Hey, I'm good luck to you, did you? So she's 44, and I want you to look at this outfit. Just look at this lazy outfit. Man, you're 44, you're dressing like you're 20. She continues, about me, questioning why I'm on here, but I'll give it a shot. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Ma'am, you get what you get, like the first lady said. You can't just say what you want. You just get what you can get. So your outfit probably attracts the kind of men that you're getting on these apps. She continues. I work hard to stay busy and I want someone is my other half. Yeah, you all do, ma'am. You all want your other half, ma'am, but you're into here. Into the danger zone. The older you get, ladies, the less chance you're going to find this court of soulmate. You should be looking for companionship, not tingles, but they can't help themselves. She continues. I don't need your money, just your time. I'm affectionate, although my look might say otherwise. <laughs> you, I, you gotta love the, how they list and talk about themselves in these apps. I mean, how the hell do we know you're affectionate or whatever you're even getting at here? What, Ladies, just try being fit, feminine, friendly. Try not being full of yourself and see what kind of men you actually can. She smokes down there. She's got a dog. She's got a bunch of these as well. Red flag. Stop. The outfit, she continues. I'm not here for a hookup. Uh, hang on. Stop the cap. Ma'am, look at your outfit. Does that come across as elegant or a lady who's not looking for some sort of casual situation? You have, please. You, look, you can dress however you want. The woman is moving. You can have better phone however you want. You can dress however you want. But this, if you're going to dress like this, men are going to see you as casual only. She continues. I could do that without a dang sight. So let's see where it goes. How you dress and represent yourself like plays a huge role, whether yep. you like it or not. Like the world is gonna judge you depending on the image you put out. You gotta really think about your image because you know, if you do take the Lambo approach, there's gonna be a, a connotation that comes with that. Right. If you take the broke approach, there's a connotation that comes with that. And then if you take somewhere in between, whatever image you're putting off, you're putting off. Yep. There it is. And this lady needs to learn that, and that's, you get what you get. So gentlemen, I've said this before, if you're on the dating apps, have a picture with a suit. Try, you know, make effort and make a good profile. You wanna stand out from the other men, just like that lady. If you want a high value guy, a guy that you're highly attracted to, to take the deal and, and, and give you a relationship, you just want bedroom fun, dress how you want, ladies. Throw any pictures up there you want. But that first lady, the great profile of the day, elegant pictures she seemed cute and sweet and kind and feminine it's just the kind of thing men want you're goddamn right
We can continue. So she's 45, and you can see this another terrible picture up there sticking her tongue out in some sort of pajama outfit. She says she's a nurse, so it's again this. That's a red flag right there, Bev. That's a red flag right there, Bev. And if you're new to the channel, you can look up the look up Kevin Samuels and nurses. He can explain why nurses are red flags. She continues about me looking for friends who enjoy going out and doing stuff, not into endless texting, but actually meeting in person. <laughs> If you're not getting taken on dates, that's on you. Fit, feminine, friendly women get taken on real dates. And ro once again, I've said this so many times on the channel, romance is inspired. If you're not getting romanced, if you're not getting guys who want to take you on dates, maybe it's because of you, ma'am, in this terrible picture, sticking your tongue out at us. Chicken did news. Let's do something fun and see who tires out. And she meant to say out, but she said our first. Man, what the hell are you getting at? What do you mean to do something fun tires out for? Like, you're not 20. See, this is the thing. They are so many, uh, so many of these ladies of this. You gotta grow up. They never grow up. She's perpetually 15 years old. She continues, no hookups, but not looking for marriage either. So please be smart and funny and catch my eye. A cute pup and a six pack doesn't hurt either. Man, we know what you want. Yeah, but ma'am, Chad doesn't want you. A Chad around your age would date your daughter who doesn't stick his tongue out at her. And that's the thing. You all think you can just come on these apps, you get, you're swimming in attention from some men swiping you for bedroom fun. And you swim in it and you go, okay, I can land any man I want. A six pack? And ma'am, you can just see her up there. That's a huge bitch. They, it's just all about what they want. These profiles should be packed with things they would do for a man, not things they want for a man, but they can't help it. They're all being told they don't have to improve, that they're queens and goddesses and tens. And why would you then? And in some ways, I don't blame them. Gentlemen, I, I really don't. Because if I was feeling, think about it, if you watch channels like mine or some of the other you know, channels based around men's content now, and we were just saying, you're all kings. You don't have to do anything to improve. Eventually, we'd go to your head too. You'd be like, well, just walk around. I don't have to do anything. We all know we do. We have the harsh realities that if we don't do anything, we're not on our purpose, we don't get bedroom fun. We don't get relationships. Most of you men who watch my channel get ignored by a lot of women. And so we know that we have to improve to, to become successful. Women are born with everything they need to find the man of their dreams. Men have to earn all that. That's why our SMV is so different. That's why women peak in their 20s and men peak in their late 30s. We continue. So she's 50 and she's a VP, so that's gonna get good. And says, this year I really wanna work on my golf game, play more pickleball and get better at the shooting range. One million dollars. <throat> well. Now, this isn't the worst profile to start with, but these are all kind of leisure expensive activities, but I, I, I would have not, she would not have made a show if it went for her next picture. So here she is with her kids, says, I want someone who can make me laugh, believes in effort, happy with his life, Glass half full mentality, social, willing to get on the dance floor, okay to cook my steak and how I like it, understand road trips, and I need snacks. Currently in Croatia on a um, solo holiday, reading uh, the unexpected joys of being single, um, and just thinking about the fact that I bring nothing to the table, apart from vibes. I bring absolutely nothing to the table. Yeah, ladies. Ma'am, what exactly do you do for a man? I'm curious. Anything. You don't even... You, I, I, we have to cook for you. Ma'am, you're 50 years old. You should be cooking our steak. Doing what we want. If you want snacks and road trips, then fucking bring them. I mean, I'm sorry to cuss. I just I can't believe these profiles. Just, it's all about what they want. They just can't submit to a man and it's the men they want are never going to want them back because they do they don't want guys like this Beta. they want a, often a man who's just like them but in chad's body and can be dominant when they want and submissive when they want it just doesn't work this way the kind of men you ladies swipe on aren't gonna always cook for you you're gonna have to cook for them and 
I did bring the snacks around you. I did this profile is hilarious. We did you. So she's 53 and I have to do it. Dude's biggest lady I've ever seen. Ah, that's a huge bitch. My God. Ma'am, get your life in order. And she's going to have requirements to the man. Here she goes. About me, originally from a certain place, living in a certain place. Love traveling. Now, when I say that I want these things, I mean that I want them. And I don't want to have to ask again. You all love traveling. You all love when men spend money on you. And ladies, if you find the channel, put in the comments that you pay for all your own travel. We've had a couple ladies say that. And in general, when ladies put this in their profile, they mean, I want a man to take me traveling. Ma'am, how does this lady even fit in a plane? I mean... <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. You gotta be kidding me to love traveling. Sure, ma'am. Reading horror movies. Yep, you all love dangerous stuff. Music and laughing. I'm 5'8", 6 foot with heels. FYI, laugh aloud. I love a tall man. Most men with money don't want an obese woman. That's they just don't. It is what it is. So... If I was a woman, I was struggling struggling with my weight, and I'm like, dang, it would really be, ni be nice to have access to a certain type of man. Mm -hmm. I need to get my ass in the gym. Mm -hmm. I would. Yeah, ma'am. And see, you can control your weight. Men can't control their height. This is the last thing you ladies should be worried about, but you can't help yourselves. You all are attracted to the same type of dude. We've seen profile after profile. This is episode 324. You constantly talk about the height of the man and they look at them saying she looked you read that down there she smokes a bunch of weed and says she works out often <laughs> stop the cap yeah maybe you work out the buffet often she did use i'm on here to meet someone special i don't go out to clubs often so this is my avenue to meet people ma'am of course you don't go out to clubs you you look ridiculous out there and you're 53 years old how do they not understand what being an adult really is? They just have never had to grow up so many of these ladies. Ma'am, your fitness is incredibly important for your own life. Even if a man was into you, ma'am, he would know that you're going to have all kinds of health problems because you're 400 pounds. Because she, again, she's five foot eight. Ma'am, good luck to you. Continue. Today's comment. Today's comment from G Money Max says, I've been traveling in Europe for over three weeks and have yet to see one attractive, strong, and independent woman traveling by herself. They're always with a man. I thought they didn't need a man. Every time I see one with a guy, I think of the whammy stealing all his money. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And I'm not saying women never pay for their own travel. I'm not saying they never do it, but they, they list it so much in their profiles. Again, the average person gets about 11 to 17 days of vacation time a year you couldn't all be traveling all the time it's just it's so cap no you just want guys who have this 100 billion dollars but that's the thing you can't just be rich he has to be hot and rich and tall brother get a round of applause <laughs> we continue so she's 51, has her bachelor's degree, and says, about me. If I had to pick three words to describe me, they would be positive, a little shy, and someone who loves to laugh. Yeah, sure. This this part, first part actually was pretty okay. It says, okay, that was more than a few three words, than three words, but it's fun to break the rules from time to time, right? Anyway, new to this scene, let's see what happens. Okay, this actually was, I'll give her this. This per first part started fine, but then she said this. We'll get along if you aren't a narcissist. My ex was like this. He was a narcissist. Narcissist. Ladies, get this language out of your profiles. There are so few men in the world that are actual narcissists. And you keep putting it. And also, if you keep choosing narcissists, ma'am, that's on you. You have to take responsibility for the men you choose to date. And it, ladies, once again, would you want to read guys profiles that have a bunch of negativity in it i bet you don't as we've said so many times the channel fun and flirty on the dating apps something light and sweet and kind but they can't do it they can't do it they've chosen chad so many times he's pumped and dumped him over and over again and they get so angry they put in their damn dating profiles we continue hey friends hey 
So this is Hope with Holly, and we have a, an entire members episode day, uh, devoted to this lady because she actually liked my profile on the dating app. So if you want to see me roast her to a crisp in an entire episode, please join the membership. You get access to all the members' videos, and I roast her to an absolute crisp. And she's this lady probably actually is a narcissist. I don't know her personally, but just all her TikTok videos are thousands and thousands of TikTok videos. She continues. Guess who's supposed to be getting ready for a date right now? This girl, you know, same old, same old story. Met a guy on the dating app. Uh, he made it through the first round. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. Of the interview process to the get my phone number and we've been messaging back and forth and he seemed great. And I was excited to go out with him because he was a mountain and I like to climb a mountain. We had very similar. political and religious beliefs as well so it was going great and on Sunday so irrelevant ladies as you get older it doesn't matter politics and religion doesn't matter look at just in today's episode gentlemen take a step back the things these ladies have talked about the man's height the man's now I get it having someone with no teeth but I don't even believe that the man had no teeth I really don't believe her so maybe his teeth weren't perfect I have said of course, dental hygiene is really important. You want to look your best, gentlemen. You do want to look your best. But the stuff they focus on, he's hot, a mountain of muscle, and that's great. But that's the thing. And gentlemen, if you stay, if I will say this, you get on your purpose and you do become buff and all these things, you, you know, you get to, you'll be someone's version of Chad and then you'll have all the options. And then, it's, then you see ladies like this and you'll just pump a dumper and move on. She continues. Uh we decided that we were going to go out on a date. So I said, okay, great. Here's a halfway point. Uh, do you want to meet there? Then I haven't heard from him since. He probably found your TikToks, ma'am. It's a, it, you're also a bunch of this. Red flag. Stop. Completely full of herself. If you again look at look up Hope with Holly on TikTok, we've had her on the channel so many times. Guys, she's thrown away because she, it's never going to be enough. She's completely addicted to social media, and she just loves the, all the, the attention she gets. She continues. Not a peep. So, what do we do when life hands us lemons? Well, friends, we make amazing lemonade in cool mason jars with fun straws and real lemons <laughs> hang on that makes me angry god this lady you're just so full of her she is so full of herself there's no man who's ever gonna make the cut i mean and she also makes money off of her tiktoks at this point so why ever be actually get in a relationship and again look back at some of her videos the dude she's been with she got back with her ex for a while and he was absolutely this <laughs> We continue. So I wanted to put this in here just because this is the mindset of so many modern women, gentlemen, and men just aren't thinking this way. I have not met a man. I have met Giga Chads who don't think this way. And she says she's 60 years old and says about me, not ordinary and definitely not average. And may I have this for you? Women are continually saying that there is a shortage of men in society today, but this is a fallacy that social media has been conditioning women to believe. But it's not that there's a shortage of men, it's the men that they want that can't meet that standard. Because let's be honest, women don't want average. They don't want the average Joe. Because if I had to ask women, would you choose the guy that's working a blue collar job, making 30 to 40K a year? Hell no. The majority of individuals I come across want the six figures they want the tall attractive six foot tough jawline muscles incredible career where they don't have to lift a finger in their life and where a woman can want that but because society is telling women just to focus on your career job be ambitious be independent and now we're hearing that they're saying there's a shortage of men i think something's not adding up here what do you guys think yeah and we've said this so many times on the channel you want that guy you have to secure them younger in life. You wait to your 40s and 50s and 60s and think you're gonna, now of course you're gonna send me exceptions, ladies. 
and you it's great if you have one of those ladies if you bag someone amazing in your 40s and 50s and 60s good for you but majority of women having more baggage more kids more dogs and cat whatever it is and then expecting high value successful dude to take the deal it's just very unrealistic and they you know average guys are average and man that lady was average she's 60 years old so talking about that she's not average she'll just wait and wait and wait until and we've seen ladies talk about now they're just they'd rather be alone than we'd be the average guy good for them we continue so she's 55 and says an intelligent strong open mind woman with a worldly soul and passion for life looking for the one who adds to my Happiness. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Ma'am, you're 55 years old. You're gonna have to fit in his frame. They don't get it. They don't get it because they don't want guys like this. Beta! They want exceptional men still, and she's got also a bunch of these too. That's a red flag right there, Bev. That's a red flag right there, Bev. She continues, financially stable, yep. One million dollars. Mother of two brilliant and independent women. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Man, what do we do with this? Good for you. You've raised kids. What exactly do we do with that? I'll never understand why they put this and inspect men to care. Why would we care? It's great. You've raised kids. I've raised kids too. It doesn't matter at all for dating. She continues. I empower people and lift them up and I love it. Please, no Trumpers. <laughs> oh my God, who the hell cares? <laughs> so I empower people and lift them up, but please, you can't be half the, the country. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> Ma'am, why don't you go date a Trumper? And talk to him and empower him then. It's just they, they want an exact clone of themselves often. They would date themselves just the way she talks. She is. She probably, if she listed her requirements, a worldly, I want an intelligent, strong, open mind man with a worldly soul and passion for life, be exactly like me, have money just like me, do all the things I want. It's never going to work this way, man. So the final profile, and this is some real good stuff. I hope you're ready to laugh. This is one of the funnier ones I've seen in a while. Here we go. So she's 48, has her dumb pro down, and says so she's IT industrial widget, whatever that is. Now, she starts with the book, Boyfriend, is the key to knowing what a woman really wants. Really? Now, I couldn't find which book she meant. So gentlemen, put in the comments, but I found a couple that had this title because there was a bunch on Amazon. So. Both these books are called The Book Boyfriend. Now, I have no idea which one she means, but of course, one of them has Chad over there, too hot for words. The other one is some other thing. I don't know, The Book Boyfriend. Whatever. I can't tell what these are, but it's, of course, it's, it's all this romantic nonsense crap. So, ma'am, I, I got doodling on this, and I thought, you know, what would be the man's version of this? So I, I found a couple books that uh, I thought maybe you should read. Yeah, uh, I, I thought uh, maybe you might help with uh, how to give a BJ or maybe uh, how to have a threesome. Yeah, that's how insane you sound, ma'am, putting here's how I want my man to be and go read this book for me. Why would we? Why don't you go read these books for us then, ma'am? <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right, we continue. She then says me, steadfast friend. Empathetic to a fault, loves animals. Ma'am, how the hell do we know this? Also, I hang on. Stop the cap. If you were so empathetic, you would never have put, here's the book you have to read to date me. Ma'am, you're 48 years old and you're this. That's a huge bitch. She continues. Loves animals, loves family, loves to laugh. Yeah, Ma'am, who doesn't love their family? This tells us nothing. You just seem completely full of yourself. I love to ask and answer deep questions. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, good for you. Multiple love languages. <laughs> My God. Damn. God, so stupid. The love languages are so dumb. She continues. Travel.
they really do think that as they get older, they can have more requirements on the men they're gonna meet. It doesn't work this way. Ma'am, a man around your age who's 48, who's fit and attractive, can pick women all from 20 year old, 30 year olds, 40 year olds, 60 year olds who date him. You don't have the same SMV, it's just different. And they don't get it. She thinks the man should read the book she wants, become the perfect boyfriend for her, and take her traveling, and love her family, and love the life. It's never gonna happen, she continues. Reading, concerts, movies, theater, always up to try new things. Yeah, you want it all, ma'am. You do. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. This is so unrealistic. Ma'am, I have this for you. When dating women, one of the worst things you can do is focus on their love language. And that's because women don't care about love languages. Well, they actually do, but it's only when their desire for you begins to wean. So here's what you need to understand about women. Women feel loved when they're able to secure a man who knows how to win, a champion that makes them look good. That is their love language. And, and think about it, language is all about how we communicate. A woman's love language is all about what she's communicating to the world. And what she's trying to communicate is that she's a winner. And the love languages are so irrelevant when she meets Chad. When a woman meets a man she's highly attracted to, all these love languages go out the window. She's putting those rules on men she's not attracted to. She's putting the rules on these kind of guys. Beta. If a, and gentlemen, you can put this in the comments as well. If a woman's into you, she does not care how you love her exactly. She's just glad you're loving her at all. All these things are so ridiculous. They're only, and you, gentlemen, you, especially the ones who've been married, you get this stuff later in your relationship. That's what happens. It's five and 10 and 15 years down the road. They lose attraction. They think they can do better. And then they talk about these love languages. She continues. She then says, we'll get along if you can be quiet together, enjoy a nice light and, and travel together. Good going. That meme was sent in by loyal and true friend, Stone Cold Steve. Really appreciate it, brother. That's a great one. Did you? Don't have to plan every minute of every day. Understand my nibblings at the center of my world. Ma'am, there's a single mom starter pack. <laughs> yep, just fit into my frame exactly. Be everything I want. Read the book that I want to be the perfect boyfriend. The, how could you have this much ego? Be, and, and we know the answer. We do. We know the answer. They're being told they're perfect and tens and gods and queen. Ma'am, I have this for you. I want it all. I want it now. Don't tell me no. Just tell me how. Now I'll end it there for today. Thank you again for watching another episode of Dating Delusions. I really do appreciate all our subscribers and supporters. Thank you so much for joining the channel. If you did like the content, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, you watch a couple videos, go ahead and subscribe now. It's free to do. It really helps me out. And I'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace. <laughs>